Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. Okay, let's do a really simple which came first, the chicken or the egg question. Which came first, the baptism instituted by God 2,000 years ago, or you? It actually does matter. In the large catechism, Luther writes, For my faith does not make baptism, but receives it. Now, baptism does not become invalid, even though it be wrongly received or employed, since it is not bound, as stated, to our faith, but to the word. God made baptism for you. God made baptism, not you. And so baptism isn't just a magic spell or a pledge allegiance to the Jesus. It's something that faith can actually cling to in its time of need. It is given by the God you believe in who loves you so much that he is not content to speak to you from afar. He would give you this gift personally. It is a baptism because God's word makes it one. It is a baptism because he wants you to have it. And so it's a baptism no matter what you believe about it. It was one before you were even around to believe, which is good news for people like me who screw up everything that they do. This isn't something I do. This is something God does for me. This is something I receive because I need it, which is sort of why God gives it to me. Again in the large catechism, Luther continues, How dare we think that God's word and ordinance should be wrong and invalid because we make a wrong use of it? If you really think that baptism is not a valid thing because you baptized somebody who ended up not believing, you are giving people way too much credit here. I mean, where does that work in the rest of the world ever? That's like saying that because somebody misused a car, all cars are wrong and invalid and nobody should drive. That's like saying that you don't believe in baptism and that somehow invalidates it. Like as if you don't believe in China. So all your stuff that was made there just up and disappears. That is not how life works. That's how Tinkerbell works. You invented Tinkerbell. Congratulations. Baptism, though, is real because it was established by God for you to receive, cling to, find peace inside of, for all of the things in this world that we cannot make, for all of the things in this world that we break and cannot fix. God has established baptism, not contingent on your faith, but for your faith to cling to, contingent on his word, which endures no matter what you think about it. Baptism is a, a joyful gift from God because it creates the very faith that it demands since his word does stuff. That, that faith that clings to baptism must be nourished, fed. All the while, though, it receives God's gifts, which is the point. God gives, we receive, like in baptism.